Hey guys and welcome to this week's vlog. This week we are in the beautiful St. Lucia. Join us as we take an excursion to spot some dolphins. We get a little bit of room therapy in one of the port side bars. And then we get a little bit 50s in the 6th Street Diner. So quite an early morning start, uh, just taking advantage of this lovely seat over in her little ocean view cabin. Oh, it's so lovely, especially in the morning, just to be able to cozy up by the window and just have a look and see what you can see. Uh, ben's just in the shower and then we're going to head to, uh, I think we're going to the Keys for brekkie and then we'll head up on deck and get a look at St. Lucia. Brecky time! Yes. I don't think a key's breakfast. St. Lucia and it's a lot more green and luscious than Barbados so we can't wait to get on our excursion and show you around. We really like the port setup in St. Lucia. There's lots of really nice shops, bars, everything you could really want in a port really so it's definitely worth getting off the ship if you come to St. Lucia even if you're not going to go on any of the excursions. After a nice walk around the port, we headed for our boat, Free Willy, in search of dolphins. It took roughly one hour to get to the spot where the resident dolphins were known to hang out. Of course, we were never promised to see any sea life at all. They can't promise it because it's not a zoo, but we were in for a great surprise. So the people that operate this tour normally know of three resident dolphins that they keep an eye out for, but crikey, there was a super pod and we literally saw at least 100 dolphins. It was incredible. Keep watching and you'll see what we saw.
as you can see, we got exceptionally lucky. We saw so many dolphins, it was unreal. And even to see some baby dolphins as well, that was incredible, especially at the front of the boat. And as much as the dolphins are amazing to see, it's also beautiful to see some of the coastline of St. Lucia. This island is truly stunning, so this trip is well worth the money. The excursion was called Dolphin Watch and we paid £65 each. When we headed back to the port, we could hear some karaoke going on, so we headed round the corner to the Rum Therapy Bar. Now, if you like a drink and a sing-song, this place is well worth checking out. We're having a very good time. I couldn't resist but get up and have a little bit of a sing song. I even got paid in beer for the sing song. Yay! How you feeling? My eyes so sore. Oh. Oh, Ben got a bit of sun cream in his eyes, he did. So we retreated back onto the ship and then headed to the Keys for a bit of lunch. It was much needed. <laughs> so, you had fun? Yes. We've had a lot of fun. <laughs> we have. Great day, really good day. Calm, so, alter. If you go to St. Lucia, you've got to go to. What's it called? The karaoke bar? Um. Therapy. Rum, yeah, rum therapy. Rum therapy. You've got to. They do karaoke. So, so much fun. And. Yeah. We've had a really good time. And after a heavy lunch, we retreated for a nap. Very quick one, as we are running late for dinner. Uh, we had an amazing day in St. Lucia, which I'm sure you've already seen. And we had maybe a little bit too good of a good time in the karaoke bar, uh, which we're both paying for. Um, we have got really badly sunburned, so just be really careful in the sun. It's very, very strong here. Uh, we've been wearing like Factor 50 um, sun lotion and it's still not really doing much. So definitely if you've got short hair, uh, make sure you get a cap um, and just keep lathering up the lotion because it really, really hits. Um, but that aside, we are hitting 6th Street, the diner. And yeah, we'll take you with us. So we'll see you there. Sixth Street Diner is a brand new concept to P&O Cruises. Unlike Iona, which has four main dining rooms, Avia has two main dining rooms and two different concepts. And one of those is this American Diner, which we absolutely loved. They've really gone to town with the decoration and the vibe of the actual restaurant. And as you'll see, the food is pretty good too. One thing we really liked about this restaurant and that you'll see in future vlogs is that they changed the menu pretty regularly as well. Each time we dined there, we had a different menu, which is great. Now, one of the things you have to do while you're in this restaurant is to go up to the jukebox and pick a song. You do need a coin, but if you speak to the waiter nicely, then I'm sure they'll help you out with that. And a huge tip here, make sure you try one of the milkshakes. They're not always on the menu, but if you ask the waiter nicely, I'm sure they'll be able to get one for you. They are absolutely exceptional. For appetizers, I went for the Reuben Croquettas. These were really, really nice, very tasty, and I love the texture as well. 
And Ben went for the corn tortilla trio, and he said these were very nice as well. So, six street. Big bucks up. So far, anyway, the starters were very nice, and the shape, amazing. It was so good. Really enjoying Six Street Diner. I just love the vibe in here. It's awesome. The food's really good. But on the spicy side, so the milkshake, God said. For my mains, I went for the New York Strip. This was so nice. I asked for it to be cooked medium rare, and it was indeed cooked medium rare. Perfect. And Ben went for the baby back ribs. He wasn't a big fan of this. He said it was pretty watery and a bit bland tasting, sadly. Um, but there we go, can't win them all. Nice new shiny bottles. Hashtag not sponsored. Definitely not sponsored. <laughs> it's really nice actually, we were just saying, there's like really small differences between Arvia and Iona, but the small differences make a big difference. There's some really nice enhancements and we like it. As you've seen throughout this vlog, we had had a long day, so we decided to call it a pretty early night. We just watched the beautiful Caribbean sunset and hit the hay. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a cheeky like as it really helps us out. And if you'd like to be notified when we release our next content, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that cheeky bell and YouTube will do the rest. Remember, it's free.